I'm so sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm outside Mama's cage, and I'm going to give you guys an update real quick before we go into the cage and look at the babies, which are now 10 days old. Today is the 25th of August. This video is normally one or two days later than the day it's filmed because I'm a student and I have to do homework Which uh, by the time I'm finished, which I finished, don't worry. Business goes second, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so emails are going to be replied to a lot later now because I have school and I have classes until 1. But what has happened is we have no more babies. We sold them all. Uh, but we always have, we have the three, don't worry, they're coming. Uh, what also happened is we finished the hutch. I probably said this in a previous video, but it is now 100% done. Almost. We have one screw to put in. I kid you not. We have one screw. We just haven't gotten around to it. But the cage is 100% now functional and uh, pretty much safe. Predator proof for sure, definitely. That's not sarcastic. That sounded really sarcastic. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, the front of the rabbit house will be getting an awning soon, so the rabbits will be able to stay out on the heat longer. Means it won't be that hot. And I've been tempted to paint a massive mural on the outside of the rabbit house because if you guys didn't know this, I am an artist. And I paint a lot. Like, mm, I haven't had time recently, which sucks because my brother's like, yo, you gotta make money, paint. Um, but yeah, so let's go take a look at those babies. Why not, huh? Oh, I got mama snuggling my arm and we got the nest box right here. So let's take a quick look. So let's start out with the Harley since everybody loves this one so much. Look at how big they are. Look at that pattern. So at first I thought that the babies might be, oh, well for one he's not a tricolor, he's orange with the Harley pattern on top. Oh, mama just wants cuddles, huh? playing with her right here, I'm sorry. This is her ear. Um, and then the other two, I thought they were chocolate otters, but no, they are in fact orange. We Not otters, I'm sorry. Chocolate torts. They are orange, I think. I'm not 100% certain. Orange would make sense, but so would chocolate otter. Choc choc chocolate tort. And, well, um, I'm not really sure to tell the difference. I feel like Orange has a lot more, like, it's black based for one, whereas chocolate tort is brown based, which if you know anything about genetics, that will make sense to you. If not, I'm so sorry. Also, oranges seem to have darker variation around the ears and not so much everywhere else, whereas these guys look almost creamy around the ears. So I don't know if this is a different variation of orange or what, but yeah, so we're going to find that out when I pedigree them. Another thing is, I don't know if I've told people this before, but custom uh, customizable names on pedigrees. The last rabbit I sold, they wanted a specific name. The girls that I sold them to, hi. They wanted a specific name for the rabbit, so I'm able to go in and change that and sign it the day that I sell it. It's all very um, easy for me. It takes no time whatsoever, and it's absolutely no inconvenience unless you change it like two minutes before you pull to the gate. Uh, yeah. That's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. She's just so cute. She wants so much attention. Um, one more thing. What was it? Yeah, so on the website, there was a page that was called Updates on Upcoming Litters. Now it's just Upcoming Litters. So if you go through my videos and you watch, and you're like, oh, I can't find that tab. It's, it's just to a shorter name. And now when you go to the rabbit overview, which if you want to buy a rabbit from me, go to that place. It should say so on the um, welcome box that you should go there. But it has now previous litters. So you can see all of our rabbits beforehand, which I think this last litter has been posted, but not the one that's in the box because we haven't sold any. And we will be selling all these babies, keeping none. We have all the rabbits we're going to keep. Douglas is going to be moved, which is the blue tort that we're keeping from this litter. We're, he's going to be moved inside to a grow-out cage, and if he's pretty, we're going to keep him and, having, and have him as a breeding buck. If not, he'll be sold in January. Now, as for Fia, the other doe we're keep, the other rabbit we're keeping, the doe, we're keeping her for certain. There is no ifs or buts. She is 100% like ours now. We're not selling her. Yeah, so um, that's it. I hope this video was uh, helpful, informational, and God bless.
you have any questions, comment down below, contact me through the website or email me through the website or text me through the number on the website.